moment of inertia is for rotational motion i is equal to m r square n number of particles irukku or rigid body la ella particles ku masses vandu same m1 equal to m3 is equal to m1 eladalama appo i is equal to inna idu instead of writing m1 r1 square ipdi dhaan eludhom ella particles ku different masses a irundha ipdi eludhom mn rn square but if all the particles are having the same masses how you can write this equation for moment of inertia m veli eduthalama r1 square plus r2 square up to rn square ella particles ku ore mass m veli eduthu if there are n number of particles what i will do to find out the total mass i will multiply and divide by n so multiply and divide by n bodu this will become m into n R one square plus R two square up to R n square by n. So this nothing but a small letter m into the mass of one particle into n number of particles. So one particle of the mass is equal to. That is a number of particles. Because into number of particles, na it will gives you the total number of the total mass of the particles. So this one I can simply write it as capital letter M into R one square. Plus R two square up to R n square by n. In the bracket below, it is clear that we call it as a radius of gyration. Symbol is k. So I can write this as I is equal to m k square. But k we call it as a radius of gyration. K is equal to in the k square. Now, what k is going to be? Now, go root of R one square plus R two square up to R n square by n. So this k we call it as the radius of gyration. In the k value, that is, that is the root mean square value of the distance. This we call it as the radius of root mean square distance of all the particles. We call it as radius of gyration according to this formula. In the bracket, pull it. Then our k is going to be there. But in the formula, which we have to know, I equal to m k square. I can write this as k is equal to i by m. So radius of gyration. What do we get? Panga in a three mark question. We take down this. 